Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So I had recently got a question: How do I turn my succulent red in color? So if you want to have uh, the color red on your succulent, then obviously you will have to purchase a succulent that is red in color. Basically, you cannot just get randomly red color uh, by stressing the succulent. Some succulents do not have the color red, like my Echeveria Neon Breaker. It has more of the purplish tone. So if you are going to expose this succulent to uh, direct sunlight, it will turn a little bit more. purplish in color but it's not going to turn red in color in order for a succulent to turn red in color it should have the pigment red in color now, now this is not going to appear that you cannot take a random succulent add some food coloring to the soil and the color will turn red this is basically because of the pigment anthocyanin that is present in the succulent that is what tends to get that color it could be either a uh, carotenoid or anthocyanin these are the pigments that give the basic color to the succulent each succulent has a dedicated color like this one over here it has more of the yellow color whereas these aguaides have a slightly red in color so every succulent has a designated color or a particular pigment so if you want to give that a beautiful red color then you'll have to provide it with a good amount of sunlight 5 to 6 hours of morning direct sunlight will get that beautiful color again your environment uh, matters a lot if you have a slightly cooler environment the colors will appear much faster and you have to ensure that you are acclimating your succulent before putting it out in the sun otherwise rather than getting the red color you are going to burn your succulent so you have to do a gradual introduction to morning direct sunlight you have to acclimate the succulent to morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours and then over the period of time the colors will start to appear basically these pigments are to protect the succulent from strong sunlight and that is why it tends to put out these beautiful colors again every succulent has its own pigment depending on that pigment the colors will appear some succulents will not change the color they will stay green throughout so you have to ensure that the succulents that do not change the color should not be put out in direct sunlight now for example this is an aguaides i'm not very sure about the exact id but this is an aguaides variety echeveria aguaides so it tends to get this beautiful color where it's exposed to morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours after acclimating it now this process is called as the stressing of succulents wherein you reduce the water a little bit and you give more of sunlight but it is a very tricky situation you have to ensure that you are well experienced in this because if you are going to reduce a lot of watering then the succulent will get dehydrated so you have to have that balance wherein you're watering a little less at the same time giving a little bit more of the sun now i would advise you if you are planning to do this do this during the winter season because it's going to be much more better do not try this during the summer season because summers are very hot the soil tends to dry faster and there is a risk that you either your succulent will get burnt because of the summer sun or the succulent will get dehydrated because of less watering so the best time to stress your succulents is during winters because one the succulent is dormant the echeveria is dormant secondly the environment is cool so you can give a little bit more of sun and watering any which ways the environment is cooler so the soil does not dry very fast so you can reduce on your watering so all of these factors play a very important role when you're stressing your succulents do not stress your succulents when the temperature is very high and when the sun is very strong try doing this during the winters it is going to work out really well so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting